Man, you come straight out of a cone. So I want to know from y'all, out of the phase four movies, we have Spider-Man, No Way Home, Doctor mm. Strange, Thor, Black Widow, Eternals, and Shang-Chi. How would you rate these movies oh boy. for phase four? Mm. Best, least the greatest, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's go there. Let's go, let's go, least the greatest. Hmm. Uh, is, is Black Widow included? Yeah, yeah. yes, okay. I will go Black Widow, uh, I will go Eternal, mm. I will go. Uh, we said five, six. So you have uh, Spider Man, Doctor Strange, Thor, Black Widow, Eternals, and Shang Chi. I really like Shang Chi. Um, Black Widow, Eternals. Doctor Strange, Shang Chi, and no, oh, fuck, fuck, Thor. I forgot about Thor. <laughs> this was hard to place. This was hard to place. I like Spider Man. Spider Man's number one. Okay, um, Spider Man's number one. What's your number two? I'll go with. Um, I will go with. Uh, I, I like. Ha! I like Shang Chi. Okay. And then I'll go Doctor Strange, and then Thor. Okay, and then uh, Eternals Black and Widow. Black Widow. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, CT. Mm. Okay, I'm going. Worst is Eternals. The second worst is Black Widow. The third worst is. <sighs> the third worst <laughs> is Shang Chi. Uh, then as we get better, it's Thor, Doctor Strange, and then Spider Man. All right. Okay. So if we're from, I'm going. I'm going to go Black Widow, then I'm going to go Eternals, then I'm going to go Shang-Chi, then I'm going to go... No, 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 no. Before Shang-Chi, then I'm going to go Thor, <laughs> Thor, and then Shang-Chi, and then Spider-Man. And for me, I actually got Strange as top. Ooh. I really, I really enjoy Doctor Strange. Okay. Spider Man was a fucking masterpiece. It was. Go ahead, Will. I, I, listen, one and two doesn't mean that one is better. It's just nah, like, man. Yeah. That's literally what it means. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> we are number two. We are number two. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all finna be weird at me then. Um, uh -oh. As long as Black uh, Widow least, is not front. The least is Thor. Thor is the oh, least. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the second one is probably gonna have to be eternals uh after that then next is um spider-man yo wow spider-man was uh, cool but it was it don't, cool for me it don't have no rewatch value i'm just gonna what? throw that out there i like after you didn't seen the spider-man i'm good uh the next one is dr strange um, then for me, Sean Chi, and I know y'all bad. Black Widow had the hardest fucking movie out of all of them. Are you serious? What she kind had, of yo, are you yeah, on? I, okay, hold on. Out of all of them besides Sean Chi, you can't tell me that story wasn't fire. It wasn't fire. That story was fire as fuck. The from the red room, everything like that story was fire. I'm it sucks that it came out the time that it did, yeah. but yo, I I can rewatch that movie all the time from the espionage to the action to the comedy to the family values, everything, bro. Black Widow had a hard ass movie. Yeah, Same hard to movie. watch is what nah, that movie was. Nah. That movie nah. was hard to watch Eternals and hard to finish. Eternals was hard to watch. Eternals That's a fact. is Eternals is something you put on and then go to sleep. It's like you know, I'm asleep. I compare, I compare I compare I, I compare Black Widow a lot to Iron Man 2, where I'm like, I like it enough. Where like if it, if it's on TNT, I'll give it a watch. TNT. But it's <laughs> but like as far as like like if I where I'm putting it, like it's like it's not Iron Man three. So it's like that's like hey. that, that's how like black. I got too many. Well, Black Widow was not this. It's not that to put it high on my list. Like like it's it to me that's the most like it's I. Right. You know also, completely <laughs> separate note, but it's still in the exact same conversation. 
I yeah. saw what they forced down my throat, which is like if you be on YouTube and then they show mm -hmm. uh yeah. Jane with the helmet and grabbing the hammer. I was like, all right. Yeah. Like that's another thing. Looking at the trailer for Thor Love and Thunder, I mean, like the clips that they showed to promote it. I'm like, man, you have to hire different companies to do this because honestly, I would have been great after seeing the movie. I would have been great with you showing gore as far as like certain scenes where he was doing like action stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I would have been great with seeing um, Thor doing stuff like when he's fighting enemies. Yeah. But I don't want to see Jane. I also don't want to see Korg. I don't want to see Valkyrie. Just show me obscure yeah. action scenes with people that aren't with people that are uh that we know are gonna be in the movie. Like, yeah. okay, we know Christian Bell's gonna be in the movie, we know Thor's mm -hmm. gonna be in the movie. Show us them. Do not mm -hmm. show me Jane because that could have been an incredible reveal yep. that people would have been like, Oh, instead of getting that old moment in the trailer. Yeah, but like you said, that's what that's what pushed them to go get ticket sales because it was like, and, and uh, the director I always say his name wrong, but uh, I, I call it, yeah, I call I say Tahiti for some reason. <laughs> um, he had already he had already, <laughs> he had already exposed that at Comic Con, like when he handed her uh, Mjolnir and and stuff like that at the Comic Con. So it's like, bro, like it like you could have just announced Thor: Love and Thunder, and we would have been fine with that. Like for you to let us know. Natalie Portman is back, and it's just like, like you said, it's like, bro, like, allow us to catch that ooh factor. Like, even like how they did Doctor Strange with the Illuminati, it's like, you oh, they didn't did have that? to show us. Yeah, like, they showed us, like, the Illuminati. Like, they had a whole uh thing where he was like, the Illuminati, we'll see you now. It's like, why did y'all tell us this is happening? Oh, yeah. you that's and crazy. Then yeah, and then you told us, like, Professor X is in it, and then, yeah. like, they even showed the thing of, like, where you can kind of see the wheelchair, and it's like, you didn't have to show none, none of, of that. That, none that of goes that. to show you people Indian. don't want to hear the real. So it's like Taika Waititi, he's doing these things and telling you about stuff. And it's like, fam, people say that they want to hear, but they really don't because that's what you do spoiling. Like the mm -hmm. best, the best reveal had to be with like Infinity War because you're like, what? I didn't know this. Oh, what? what? And then Endgame comes and you're like, yo, I'm blown away. You yeah. know what? perfect example of not telling us something but something that we like when you saw cap pick up Munir, like that moment if if they would have put that in the trailer that right. would've, that would have wasted that moment exactly but, like when that moment happened i don't know about y'all but it was like a sea of emotions like i didn't know yeah. what to feel i was like i'm happy i'm like i felt like i was about to cry a little bit i was like i don't know yeah. what i was feeling in that moment and it's to this day i didn't know i didn't know yeah. right goosebumps like, yeah like that, and that he, but he but even to that part like even going to like that it's like this this movie took away a lot of those pillars that we had and love we have for yeah. a lot of this stuff like e even uh Mjolnir and stuff like that like again we hadn't seen this thing since it was broken like we thought that was it. Like we weren't gonna see this hammer no more. And then you know we saw it in Endgame when he brought it back to fight Thanos, and it was like, "Yo, that's so dope!" Because it's like again, we're thinking we're never gonna see this hammer again. Wait, and answer that for me. How did? How did? Okay, we remember Thor Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. The hammer got destroyed by his sister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did the hammer? They went back in time. No, 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 no. Follow me. Okay. He went back in time and got Mjolnir before it was crushed, brought it back present day, fought Thanos. Captain America grabs Mjolnir. He also has Stormbreaker. Bam, movie, we win, it's over. The hammer was destroyed on, on uh, Asgard. Mm. So how did that hammer end no, up it no, on no, no, Asgard? It it wasn't destroyed on New Asgard. I mean, it wasn't destroyed on Asgard. It was destroyed um, where uh, his dad died. Remember, they were on Earth. Because in Ragnarok, they had to go talk to Doctor Strange, and he asked him, like, where are you? He said, he's here. He's in exile. Because remember, when Lo Lo he asked Loki, You're right. where is your father? Got it. Where's our father? Remember, the building got destroyed, and he was yeah. like, this is where I left him. And then that's when they found him, and then that's when he died, and that's where Hella came out. Okay, so they, it, it was destroyed on Earth. Man, I was about to be <laughs> like, how but, the fuck? But no, I can see why you say that because if you think about it too, it was like they didn't like clap. They didn't say where Odin was. It was just kind of like I found him. Here you go, and they threw him there. So it's just like, 
okay, is this still Earth or like yeah. what is this? Like this can be anybody's home, yeah, but you're still not telling us nothing. Like even like in like um the Winter Soldier, like when we went somewhere, it'll show us New Zealand. Mm-hmm. Like even in Black yeah. Widow, it showed us the Red Room. Like you let us know where we were, and this one y'all didn't tell us where they were. We still don't technically know where Asgard is on Earth. Well, whatever they put the, I think they was like Niffle, some some shit. Uh, the Nor, I think it's in Norway. I, th- I think I that's where it so. is. I believe. Yeah. Um, but here's the crazy part. I just realized Captain America took the hammer back. And put it back in time. So I was like, well, if he brought it back in time, how come they still? And I was like, yep, he took it yeah. back with the rest of the stones. Back. Yeah. Yeah. But again, to see all of that stuff and then for it to be like, okay, us seeing this hammer brought back together, us yeah. seeing it to the way how she was using it. I love that. It, Me too. Yeah, it was like, yo, you took that away with the trailer. Yeah. Like, yo, that was such an epic thing to see it just like, and it go away and it's like, the hammer's back, and then uh, like yo, we don't. Yeah, because yeah, yeah if, we, if we yeah, if we didn't see that moment, yeah, because we would have been excited that the hammer's back, right? Yeah, even beforehand. So then the see yeah, that whole moment would have had an in game like at least uh, you know a uh, partial of it like that type of excitement. Like it was like boom, boom, boom. Like boom. don't show her as Thor. Show her yeah. as Jane because if you'd have showed her as Jane sitting in the chair talking to the guy about her book when he was getting treatment yeah. it's like oh why is she there we wouldn't have thought we thought she was just you know being there yeah. for a friend but mm-hmm. you showed us the clip that i kept seeing on youtube where i would like just turn the computer off they kept showing her as thor and i'm like oh my god yeah why would you ruin your own movie like this but that hammer was fire and i didn't see that the yeah. pieces part in the trailer because i didn't yeah, watch the trailer. I, didn't see that in the trailer I loved either. it yeah. No, I did, I did. I did when I saw them uh, fight and they slapped when they were at Zeus's thing and they threw and I was like, what's all these particles hitting? I was like, oh. and then I slowed it down. I was like, is that the hammer? But they never ah. confirmed yeah. if yeah. it was the hammer. I was like, oh, that'd be dope if like all the pieces are still shattered yeah. and come back in the sea. Like that's what they did. It was like, oh, snap. And yeah. it's dope. But it was like, yo, why would you give all of this away in the trailer? Let's like, talk yo, about you- Zeus. Zeus, first of all, Russell Crowe, I talked about Thor's arms and how it made me want to just do arms. Russell Crowe, you out here wilding, man. What, come bro, on, man. Come bro. on, brother. You out here. Come on. I don't. I don't know, like what was going, like what. But you know what, too, though. So here's here's what I gave it for with with Zeus. When as Thor was talking and how he was describing now Zeus and saying like, "Yo, don't meet your heroes," because it's like, "Yo, mm-hmm. it's this person I idolize, and now I'm seeing you, and you're not that." And so it's like now I'm seeing it's like, "Oh, I'm seeing Zeus ain't in his prime no more. This ain't this ain't the mm-hmm. Zeus that everybody praised and was right. cool about. This is mm-hmm. the one that is kind of out of shape. This is the one that mm-hmm. is kind of arrogant. That's not really like defending stuff like it should be." Mm-hmm. And so it was like, I can see why you got caught with that lightning bolt like you did and stuff. And it's just like, I like it. But again, too, how they set everything up, took it away. Because again, had I not seen that gods were assholes already, mm-hmm. this would have made Zeus more compelling to me to go, man, I want to see you get slaughtered, bro. Yeah. I but see that's why you don't. That also changes with the opening scene. If that wasn't the opening scene, because they had two opening scenes. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Taka Watiti was like, oh, we'll just do both of them. Because the perfect opening scene would have been how we find Thor, yep, just like yep. we found him in Ragnarok. And yep. then you show later in the film Gore after there are already rumblings of this God Butcher. And they're like, God Butcher, God Butcher. Yeah, look at these guys that have been slaughtered. It's like, what? What? Why are these gods being slaughtered? Mm-hmm. And then you show the gods, you show that one God who was a friend of Thor's being slaughtered. And then you show uh, Lady Sif fighting him. And then you show, uh, bam, it goes black. And now you see Thor be like, yo, what, what's going on? Look, what's this video? Oh, my friend's in trouble. And yeah. then she, he goes to her and he's like, yo, what happened? There's a guy. He's killing all the guys. And it's like, what? He's killing all the guys. You got to stop him. You got to stop him. What happened to you? All that. And then later on, soon as you meet Gore and he's got the battle, he's got the shadow monster and he steals the kids. And then he faces Thor and he's like, first of all, they also show Gore being weak because he was knocked down by Thor. You never want to show the villain as yeah. soon as they first appear be knocked down by the hero. They yeah, have to look so strong. The first battle, they got to defeat him. They, they got to defeat the hero. I mean, yeah. So you see that. 
that's when Gore should have been like, <laughs> and then he disappears. And mm -hmm. then you're like, what the fuck was that? Whole movie goes on. Now, when they think that he's going to go to the gate to kill all the gods, he gets to the gate and Thor gets to the gate and he's like, stop. He's like, you can't kill all the gods. Da, 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 da. And he's like, kill all the gods. Is that what you think this was about? Let me tell you a story. Yeah. Bam. Mm -hmm. That's when you show yeah. he lost his daughter. But the part and the perfect place to have got that is when they went to that planet and they went to the negative verse and he had them all tied up. Like he could have been like again, like what I would have really loved to see was him play a shadow game with them to split them up. So yeah. just like how Jane went after him and the thing kind of changed up, you could have been doing the same thing with these shadow manipulations yep. to all three of them. And then while you got Thor by himself, you show Thor what happened to you because you could have went to where you see him walking in the sand, carrying it, and Thor standing right there watching yeah. all yeah. of it happen. So it's like, yo, you can understand it. Then you see him make the vow, like holding the sword all gods must die. And then it comes back and you know, like, and it's like black and white now. You're just like, yo, now you see where the torment comes from. Now you see why you need to die. And then it start getting real, real creepy. And you can yeah. see like Valkyrie and like Jane coming back in from the shadows and he got them gripped real tight. And it's like, call oh, the axe. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Because I didn't even like how what really kind of made me mad was the whole Bifrost episode, the Bifrost scene. I'm like, how you the only one don't get sucked up from a Bifrost? How you that strong? He's that strong. <laughs> Apparently, them, but he just got knocked them, out earlier. Right. right. <laughs> all of these folks, even even Hella, can get shoot straight up. You right. only one holding it. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. That don't okay. I would have loved him have a better way of getting the hat, the the axe, rather yeah. than. Oh, we're out of here. Nope, snatch you. Yep. Like, yo, y'all yeah. not y'all ain't figured out how to fix this when hella threw y'all out of here. Like, yo, exactly. Like, no. But I will say all the jokes for Stormbreaker and Mjolnir were even funnier because it came to a head with him taking Stormbreaker and Thor being like, What are you doing? Look at you. And it's like, I love that only he can talk to them yeah. because it's like, this is amazing. They've shown that these these hammers are alive. Bro, yes. the fact the fact that he that that him and Stormbreaker took a shot, like he like, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> let's, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and drink, man. Let's go ahead and what? let's go ahead and pull up real quick. You know, crazy. Like, which like, which like, even kind of played off of because the boat was drunk. If you kind of think about it, the boat was drunk, like yeah. it was moving. Not <laughs> that was the first time we saw like a Bifrost not straight through. It was yeah. moving around and stuff. We kind of blame the goats, but then when you thought about it, it's like, yo, the boat was drunk. Yeah, because even, even, even the way that they, they even the way they landed, it was like it, it was a heavy landing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man. All right, we went two hours. I'm out. I'll see y'all, yes. man. All right, <laughs> y'all.